you can see that ChatGPT proves itself to be an exceptional coding assistant by helping us build a very basic web application in just a few prompts. It is showcasing its remarkable coding capabilities and how to build on top of that particular code. It has effortlessly generated impressive code even from a very straightforward instruction, highlighting that it can increase its prowess if I add more detailed commands to it. Till now, we have seen how to brainstorm a new idea, create a simple layout of your project, and generate code on ChatGPT, how to get feedback on your code, how to optimize your code, and how to find errors in your code. Let us follow all of these steps and create a simple project without actually writing any code. But before we begin, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends hoping to learn ChatGPT. Also, do let us know in the comments if you have any questions suggestions or requests for more information and we will be happy to incorporate it in the next video. First thing that I'm going to ask ChatGPT is that I want to build a web application and I want a good name and a good product description for it. Let's ask, I want to build a web application like make my trip. Please suggest a Good name and product description. Let's see the name it has given Trip Savvy. Trip Savvy is a cutting edge web application designed to revolutionize your travel experience. It is your go to platform for all your travel needs with its user friendly interface, powerful features. It aims to make trip planning and booking seamlessly and hassle free. It has also given a few features smart planning made easy. Seamless booking experience, stay organized, keep all your travel plans organized in one place, and unparalleled customer support. Let's ask, I want a catchphrase for this application. Please suggest. Trip Savvy, your gateway to seamless adventures. Okay, this looks good enough for me right now. Let us see if it can give me code for my HTML and CSS file, at least a basic layout. By the way, if you want to learn about generative AI in far more depth and detail than what I'm covering here, we have a lot of courses of AI and ML from top universities in India and the world. Link is pinned in the comments. Go check it out. I want to add all these features to my landing page i want my landing page to have only flights booking for now give me html and this code in separate files for the same Okay, so it has given the HTML and CSS file here. What I will do is I will copy this code. I have already created two files, index.html. I will just copy and paste it here. And then I'm going to copy the CSS file and paste it in my styles.css. The reason why I've pasted in styles.css is because in index.html we have referenced uh, this file name here and let's see if I can run it. As you can see I have opened my index.html. It has given me a very basic layout of the web page which has flights, hotels, car rentals, holiday packages and in the basic layout we have the origin destination and these dates for I, which I'm hoping is for the return flight and a button for search flights. Let's see if we can modify this a little bit. I do not want my layout to be gray. Please make it blue in color and add the catchphrase to the header besides beside the web beside the application name 
add labels to the input boxes for onwards and return journey dates and add a checkbox for the return flight option. Now it has changed the code a little bit by adding the catchphrase as I mentioned and then it has a class called hero which has the flight details, the origin, destination, departure date, return flight, return date. Let's copy paste this and check again. I'm just going to refresh this and see how it looks like. Okay, this has completely changed now, but I don't want it like this. Let's see if it is responsive. This looks pretty cool. It is responsive. Even if I check this, uh, this is not getting active. Okay, let's edit the command a little more. Do not, do not add the different functions like lights, hotels with the header. Create a different layer for it. I don't want the input boxes vertically stacked. Make it where you want to be stacked. Change the lay layout color to dark gray. I'm trying to give as many commands as possible so that I don't have to write a lot of code after this. Let's copy paste directly. See how it looks like. This is still a little better than the last time. Let's add some features here. A component below the input form for features that you mentioned in the product description so the origin and destination side by side and add a logo on the left side of the app name i'm going to copy paste this again Still generating. Okay, let's save it and see how it looks like. It has given me the different features, flights, flights, hotels, hotels. Okay, this doesn't look that good. This has taken this logo automatically because there is a image source that it has given for the header that is logo.png and I already have one logo.png in my images folder so it has automatically taken that image from there. Let's change this a little bit. Please add a background image in the hero container. Change the input boxes and buttons button size and make it bigger change the features to the do not add lights and hotels as features add simple text based features that you mentioned in the product description. Let's see if it takes my command and makes those changes. Let me copy the HTML file, then the CSS file. See how it looks like. Okay. So since I have not given any background image, it is showing as white. It has given the different features that it was mentioning in the product description. 
let's add the background image here it is usually in the css file let's see the hero container so here is the background image let's change this bg1 this bg1 is the image that is in my images folder so let's save this and run as you can see that the background looks much prettier now with an image the conditions that you want to achieve that if my checkbox is ticked the this should be active all of these things you can achieve using javascript that i'm going to leave it up to you but this is just a basic layout of what i want to achieve in my flights landing page as you can see here we have the name that it suggested initially the catchphrase the input form the buttons check boxes features and a disclaimer let's change the font i do not like i do not like this font so i'm going to change it i'm going to change it to you can see there is a little difference in the font and here we have a basic layout of our landing page you can see that ChatGPT proves itself to be an exceptional coding assistant. It is showcasing its remarkable coding capabilities and how to build on top of that particular code. It has effortlessly generated impressive code even from a very straightforward instruction, highlighting that it can increase its prowess if I add more detailed commands to it. Undoubtedly, there are going to be some areas that require improvement. There are limitations like it might not be able to understand the context completely or it can give me an incorrect code. However, for those who want to have a solid understanding of programming principles or build a simple web application or build a simple layout of the web application, this chatbot will serve as a very valuable tool, enabling a very rapid development of all these web applications. So by leveraging all of these capabilities, developers with expertise can use its potential to swiftly construct these complex web applications despite having those limitations. The assistance provided by ChatGPT offers a very invaluable resource for proficient programmers and that can aim to accelerate their entire development process.